Just miles and miles of trucks, that's all I can see. Hello YouTube, this is Naman. Welcome to my channel. Movies and grooves. <laughs> I want to talk about my three favorite CD while doing the road trip. Yep, I'm on a road trip. <laughs> so, let's go. of you who know me know that I do a lot of road trips, right? <laughs> because of that, I fill my glove box with a uh, bunch of CDs. I've got some more at home. I rotate them around. But there are three CDs, at least three CDs that I always have with me in that glove box. Uh, I'm going to name those three and why I pick those three. Before I name those three, I want to mention fourth one. I'm a soundtrack guy, so I would like to have all three of them be soundtrack, but one of them is not. Now, if uh, I had a Forrest Gump soundtrack album, that would have been the third one. <laughs> I've been meaning to get it, I just keep forgetting getting it. Uh, I just love the diversity of the music in that soundtrack album. When I play it, I could remember the movie. If I played in sequence, I, I could remember the movie and I feel like I have uh, experienced the movie while listening to the music. So you get the idea why I would have picked uh, the two soundtrack albums that I would uh, show to you. Uh, yeah, so that's why the Forrest Gump would have been one of them. Now, why didn't I pick other soundtrack albums? I think Forrest Gump is one of those uh, uh, road trip albums that for long distance, you know, if I remember the movie, I can remember the happy part, sad part, angry part, you know, it, it brings different kind of, I mean, just diverse kind of uh, uh, emotions during the road trip that is just very monotonous, right? So, Yeah, I, I think I would have enjoyed, enjoyed the music from Forrest Gump on a road trip. It's a, I think it's a perfect road trip uh, album. Let's say, let's uh, talk about the other three albums. Okay, first CD album I want to show you is The Who. Here are the songs in the back. Then and now, from 1964 to 2004. Now, I'm a huge fan of uh, Foner, Cheap Trick, Yellow, Boston, all these different bands from 70s and 80s. But if uh, they cycle through one CD, one album, I get tired of it one song blends into another. Now maybe if they have it like this, where 40 years of uh, their song is condensed into one CD, you know, their best, you know, 40 year history of uh, the Who, maybe I will have a different opinion on that. I just like diversity. I like mix. I like but yellow at Boner and all that mixed up, you know. But uh, this one, even though it's not mixed, different group, I really, I could listen to this one over and over again and let it rotate, just keep on rotating. Because each song sounds very iconic, different. And honestly, a lot of these songs that I listen to, I go, wow, that song could be in certain movies. Right? 
like uh, some of these songs may belong in uh, movies like Easy Rider or uh, in movies like Forrest Gump. You know? So, I mean, and gosh, it has all kind of uh, iconic songs in here. I can explain My Generation, Kids Are Right, uh, Substitute, I'm, I'm a Boy, Happy Jack. I can see for miles and miles. Matter of fact, I can see for miles and miles. I could prove to you that's on a movie somewhere. Can you guess what that uh, what that movie might be? It may be more than one movie, so uh, that song might be on different movies. I, I know it's in one movie, that I'll show it to you, okay? I can see for miles and miles. Uh, Magic Bus, Pinball Wizard, I love that song. See Me, Feel Me. Summertime blues, beyond the blue eyes, won't get pulled again. 515, love rain over me, love rain. Squeeze box, who are you? Who are you? Yeah. You, you better, you better, you bet. Oh yeah, you better, you bet. Real good looking boy. Old red wine. I mean, it's just packed, packed with the iconic songs in this one. So yeah, this is one of those CDs that I could just listen over and over again. So I highly recommend this one if you go on road trip and you know you just want to put it in there and just forget about it and just listen, listen, and listen. <laughs> so this, I always pack this with me. I mean, uh, I don't rotate this around. This course so far, so far, okay. Uh, during all my road trips. Second album that I always pack into my glove compartment is Stand By Me. On my other channel, I show this album quite a bit, both on vinyl record and CD. Now, I like this because Similar to Forrest Gump, invokes a sad feeling, happy feeling, and whatnot. But it's it's more personal level, right? I mean, the story in this, the child, the four kids in there, uh, they're not they have nothing like my stories, but still invokes my personal story. All the songs in here. I love I love these uh, 1950 songs like uh, uh, Every Day. Is it 1960 songs? 50s and 60s songs. Let the good time roll. Come go with me. Uh, Whispering bells. Get a job. A lollipop. I love this fun song. Very fun song. Yakety yak. Great balls of fire. Mr. Lee. And stand by me. Uh, these are fun song when you listen to them during the daytime but it really hit my nostalgia button when I listen to this album at night time Memories are fading things, right? So it seems very appropriate to project that onto a night sky. Yeah. So during the daytime, I love all the fun songs. During the nighttime, 
I like the songs like Stand By Me on this one. And, you know, I could just listen to this all day long as well. So, and this is my second favorite Wood Trip album. Apollo 13. This album, this soundtrack album, is fast becoming one of my favorite soundtrack albums in my collection. <laughs> I first listened to this entire thing with my daughter when she and I had a road trip. Just recently listened to it with my wife when we went to uh, Niagara Falls. I just listened to it twice on my road trip, on this road trip. I think my daughter described it best. <laughs> this made me feel like I watched a movie. Did it? Kind of. Mm. They definitely curated an experience. It's very immersive. I love the movie. I watched the movie. So I know all the the sound effects, music, all that's played in here. I go, oh, I could recall it, you know. But my daughter and my wife, they have not watched the movie. And after listening to this, uh, they were interested in watching the movie. And my wife don't even speak the language. I mean, she, don't, she hardly speaks the language. I mean, she speaks it, but uh, she, uh, she would miss it in the movies. But uh, yeah, she was uh, intrigued by the, the story I told about this uh, this movie. I mean, it's a historical fact movie, right? So, man, this has everything. This has a country song, rock and roll, pop songs, um, orchestrated music, sound effects, dialogue. Um, historical radio station playing Walter Cronkite playing his, his thing announcing his, the Apollo 13 launch or, anyway it has everything right and it follows the sequence of the movie itself follows along along that line so after you listen to this complete thing it's a huge list of songs in there you feel like uh, you just got out of the theater after you listen to the whole thing, right? And uh, the the music that I told you about the the who this this has the you can see for miles and miles. It's hard for me to read this right now because it's in red. I cannot my eyesight cannot capture that right now. But uh, there's tons of music in here uh, that I like. I don't know, it's just a, this is a fantastic soundtrack album. I don't think this is in vinyl record. If they have it in vinyl record, I will buy it, but uh, I would definitely buy it in CD or road trips. <laughs> because this is definitely, it's like a, going to, going, having a road trip and watching the movie, feel, feel the movie. I mean, you actually feel the movie. Now, I, I crank the sound up all the way up on these things because there's a, 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 a sound effects in there that when you feel the danger you know careful when you're driving around the mountain areas you know you know you you feel you will feel the vertigo and all that <laughs> uh, with the sound on that is uh, so yeah it's a, it's a fun uh, fun album and it occupies you for at least two hours no, and, and how can you have a movie feeling while you're driving? Yeah, it, of course it really helps when you watch the movie. But uh, uh, apparently, for my wife and my daughter, they didn't even watch the movie, and they want to watch the movie. Now, even myself, after hearing this, I want to go home and watch the movie again. So it's a great soundtrack album. If you are having a road trip, I recommend getting a CD of this. Uh, I'd be curious as to 
if you guys watched the movie, uh, or, or actually, I'd be curious as to those of you who have not watched the movie and listen to this while you're having a road trip, you know, we'll, we'll do, you, you know, invoke you to go watch a movie or not. I'd be curious to hear about that. I'd also be curious to hear about your road trip CDs, the CDs that you always take on your road trips, if you have a road trip. <laughs> I have a lot of road trips, so I'm, you know, that's the one I'm curious about is that, you know, what can I take on my next road trip, you know? But again, these three CDs are the ones that I take all the time. Because uh, I do have a, you know, 20 hour road trip whenever I go on these road trips. So, I got plenty of time. <laughs> anyway, uh, Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Nam me now.